You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Ahead of every week's Kentucky football game, we get an in-depth look at their opponent. Let's check in with Jeremy Jarman of the UK Sports Network for more on the Vols. Hey, Jeremy, uh, interceptions galore, but some of those might have been started by some of the big guys up front. Take us through a couple of the plays. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, what an awesome uh, experience that was to go from last Mary Jo, the first in the SEC in interception. So, yeah, so let's uh, let's roll this first clip here. Look here in the middle. Look at the look at the rush right here by the, by the nose guard, uh, Quinn Bohanna, and also uh, he had a partner in crime there. We'll be able to see it better from another angle. Uh, obviously, Joseph able to go up and get that ball at the highest point. But yeah, I got Phil Hoskins here on the edge and have Big Bohanna here in the middle. And just watch them win their one on ones. Quinn actually splits a double. I mean, look at that. Bohanna's able to get there, but Big, Big Phil's able to get up underneath that arm. And that getting up underneath that arm is just able to help quarterback. He puts too much arch on it. And uh, I got boss man on the back end there, Kelvin Joseph, able to go up and show that athleticism and get it at its highest point. Uh, just a really good job by these guys. And just across the board, uh, when you look at six interceptions, that's just not from just defensive back play. I mean, another clip here. Look at Quinn. I mean, if he's not taking a ballroom dancing course on campus this semester, then Anwar Stewart is doing an extremely good job with, with his footwork. Look at the big man here. Inside, comes back out. Those are good feet. We call that sweet feet. That's what we call that, you know, uh, amongst big men like that, big athletes. But that's an extremely good play by Quinn to show his athleticism at 330-plus pounds. So uh, he probably played his best game against Mississippi State. Uh, our edge rushers uh, on the outside and nickel as well. If you look at Jordan Wright. Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, get up underneath that. Obviously, he scored a touchdown. But, I mean, his pass rush, him and Boogie Watson off the edge, they responded. I don't know what the coaching staff said to those guys, but they responded. And if we get that kind of effort from them this week, Jared Guantano, he's going to have some trouble. Uh, he's going to have some trouble being able to get the ball out in some passing situations. How does uh, Mississippi State's line compare to Tennessee's line? I mean, we were able to Mississippi yeah, State's I line pretty well. Right. Mississippi State's line, you know, probably a lot better in the run game. We didn't get to see that much with their 70 pass attempts. I think Tennessee's line a little bit, uh, a little bit more versatile. Uh, I think that there's going to be some opportunities for our edge rushers. I think uh, especially their left tackle. He might be a little stiff, Bill. Uh, I think I think Boogie Watson and Jordan Wright. I think they're going to be able to give him some uh, give him some hard times. But uh, all in all, to go from last to first and in, in interceptions in the league and uh, and see Jordan Watson or Jordan Wright and, and, and Jamar Boogie Watson turn it on again in October. This is where they were last October. They turned it on just in time uh, for Halloween. Boogie Watson. I called him Boo Watson. Boo. <laughs> Uh, last, you know, last year uh, when boom, October hit, boom. so it's going to be fun watching those guys. <laughs> All right, Jeremy, what are your keys to the game? Yeah, so I think we got to hold Tennessee under 17. You look back last season, 17-13 uh, game. Obviously, got to get, uh, got to keep Palmer wide receiver. He's a really good player for making big plays, less than 100 yards rushing, which shouldn't be a hard, hard job for our guys. Ranked third in the SEC currently, about 83 yards per game. And we'll win the field position battle. That's our guy, Max Duffy. If he can keep flipping the field and putting ten and put Tennessee in some backed up situations to make it easier for our defense, yeah, it's going to be fun down in Knoxville this weekend. As Bill says, Max Duffy is a weapon. Absolutely. Not a punter, a weapon. We, and I've heard at times we have a good punter. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to see you on this side, Bill. Thank you, Jeremy. Hey, it's fantastic to be here. It's great to get out of the weather, weather mold. So, yeah, loving it. Thanks, Jeremy. We appreciate it. We'll see you next week. Sounds good. I got two words for Keith Farmer. <laughs> Wally Pip. <laughs> You've been pipped. <laughs> Stick around. You're watching BBN tonight.